So, I'm Philippe Graffin. And as a violinist, I got very fond of the music written by Georges Enesco. A few years ago, I had the chance to play his uh, octet. And for years, I've been wanting to spend a few uh, days and rehearsals with, with close friends and get to the bottom of how I feel about this piece and try to play it. Today, I feel uh, grateful that this project is happening. Uh, this, uh, I feel very blessed by that, actually. It's very challenging work which he wrote in 1900 when he was only 19 years old. But he's a masterpiece. Forget that he was such a young man. It ends with this crazy waltz. So I thought how to make a project with this octet by Enesco. And then I thought, well, what would be really great is to be able to play La Valse by Ravel. The problem was that there was no um, transcription made by Ravel or somebody close for strings. So I decided to commission uh, that to a young composer called Tim Mullman. And last but not least comes this waltz, this very special waltz by Debussy. And it has a very naughty title because it's called La Plus Que Lente which can be roughly translated as the more than slow. He spent a whole summer writing this La Plus Que Lente for piano solo. He transcribed it with cymbalum for a small ensemble, an ensemble that you would see for the gypsies, which is only for gypsies from Paris. And uh, it's amazing that it exists in that version. There is um, uh, some, some sense of uh, a mirror between the Enesco and the Ravel and the Debussy, and sense of, it gives them a sense of perspective to one another. And um, I think this is in this time of pandemic when we cannot really uh, access the audience in the same way we wish. Uh, it was wonderful to get together and play music together and make something that eventually is going to be heard, and I hope you enjoy it. <laughs>